Sambi has come by Dallas to join up with Debbie, Carrie and Arlene Green, and together the four proceed to Oklahoma City to attend the Green family reunion. They take a passenger train for this trip. I guess I will never really understand how it feels to be rejected by your family. My mothers and my grandmother Kelly were all atheists and so I was raised as one. I am actually glad you never endured such pain. But your mother Lucy did. You can empathize with her as well as with me and learn what you can from our past. I would also hope you never reject Richard, no matter what he decides to believe as an adult. I certainly wouldn't. I remember you mentioning the possibility of me becoming Mormon. And then I find out I am descended from Joseph Smith, the Mormon founder. It made me sick. Like how did you know? It was just a coincidence. Anyway, I am proud of how you turned out. You know what my biggest fear always was? What? That you'd turn out like your cousin Rebecca. She was raised in a Christian family and turned out evil. That's even worse than you being a Mormon, really. If you say so. Are you forgetting that Rebecca is my mother? If anyone should feel ashamed of her ancestry, it is me. I have had repeated suicidal thoughts because of knowing how terrible she is. I only exist because as a teen she couldn't stop spreading her legs with boys. Arlene, as a suicide survivor, I've had to build up my self-esteem regardless of any circumstances I may have come from. Plus, I can tell you about my sister Vicky and how she was raised by a sexually abusive mother before she was adopted by the Sims family. So we all have curses to overcome. May I hug you? Okay. I don't know why I keep having these nightmares about my birth mother. I haven't seen her since I was 7 and she is still in prison. I'm now 15. What the hell is wrong with me? Sexual abuse is not something you can just shrug off and walk away from. It damages victims down to their very souls. So your fears and pain are understandable. But the best thing you can do is reach out to help others who are suffering. Your trauma can give you empathy for the pain of others. You can fight for the rights and dignity of everyone else, as defined in the first principle of Unitarian Universalism. I understand. That's why I want to be a UU minister. To help others. You don't have to wait until you are ordained to help others. I know someone who you can help right now. Her name is Hermine. Hermine? You mean the blind girl who occasionally is brought to church by her mother? What could I possibly do for her? I've never been blind so I would have no idea what a blind person needs. I know one thing she needs that she doesn't have now, a friend. You can learn from her about what she needs besides friendship. If you want to be of service to another, now is as good a time as any to start. Give Hermine a chance to learn from you too. I think you both will be enriched by the experience. I hope you don't mind my coming to visit you. I've seen you at church only a few times, but I want to get to know you. I don't mind at all. I am happy to finally have a friend after being alone for so long. It is so depressing to feel left out because I am blind and so I cannot play with others my age. May I hug you? Sure. Have you always been blind? If so, I'm guessing you have no idea what colors are and so words for colors like red, green, and white would have no meaning to you. I actually lost my vision when I was five when I was stabbed in the eyes by my father after I spilled a glass of wine he was about to drink from. He was drunk every day and said he would punish me for making a mess on the floor, but I just wanted him to stop. Wow. My mother Jessica was once the victim of abuse by an alcoholic when she was still a teen. So what happened to your father? He is now in prison and is permanently banned from ever seeing me again. Oh my god. It seems the two of us have quite a bit in common. What do you mean? It's a long story and perhaps when I am ready I will tell you about it. For now. Can you teach me how to read braille? <laughs>